welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we are going to be going through this massive horror room right here. You guys can see all of the collections set up. This is a combination of me and my brother's horror slash just anime just a bunch of figures that aren't wrestling related this is our collections on display here and this is at his house not mine so i don't have any of my wrestling stuff over here but you guys can kind of check out what all is going on but we're just going to take you through the whole room and just analyze everything since we did this last year we have added a lot more to the collection since last year so i am excited to do this video again and see how far it's come since that last video a year ago and since it's the month of october what a better way to do it and i guess what we're going to do is start on this side of the room we'll just kind of work our way around until we go through the full collection and uh yeah so i hope you guys enjoy it so let's go ahead and get started all right guys so starting out in the corner this is the very corner of the room right here we're going to start it off with my trick-or-treat studios 2018 Halloween Michael Myers mask and this is actually repainted by yours truly I was Michael Myers for Halloween last year so I just you know put the mask in here it fit better in this room and everything we need like a proper mannequin head but we'll just go with what we got right now we also have a couple Harley Quinn bats which you see, you will see later on while that, those are so important if we come up here guys you will see our 30 Studios Bioshock Big Daddy and Little Sister figures right here on the desk and I gotta say right now that little sister figure right there is one of my favorite figures to pose around in the entire world. Maybe you guys will see that in a later video or the pick fed or something. That's just, just a little drop there. Up next guys we have this part 3 Jason statue that's just really really nice. It's massive too. It's literally it's it's damn near 2 feet tall and it looks really really good. Really nice statue right here and I couldn't tell you who made this or where it is from but it is very nice. Up next guys we have our part 4 Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees mask from fiberglass mask. Very high quality very nice there. Also on the desk are these Jack Skeleton themed vans and we have a couple Harley Quinn things as well as this beautiful Harley Quinn lamp. And finishing up this sort of area right here we have Lucille obviously this is Negan's bat from The Walking Dead actual replica This also has real bob wire on it so it'll cut the shit out of you. So that pretty much finishes up this side of the room Moving forward, guys, onto this side and this shelf over here on the bottom. Nothing too crazy, but we do have these Metallica figures from McFarlane Toys. And on the right, we do have a nice little statue figure of Kurt Cobain. Moving up, we just have some books and things of that nature. Scott Pilgrim. Down here, we have some random Friday the 13th stuff going on. Random merch, random books and figures. You see that part three NECA. Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th figure from his first kill with the mask. We have some other things going on. Random pop figures and accessories, lunchbox, just some random Jason Voorhees stuff. On the next shelf, guys, we do have this NECA replica mask, which is also autographed by, I think, every Jason ever besides Part 3. We also have some other NECA things going on, Part 7 statue. We have some bobbleheads and other things. Also, we can't forget about our Part 7 silicone gloves that are very expensive. And to round out our top shelf, not including the very top shelf, we have our VHS Friday the 13th collection, as well as some other pops and statues of that nature of Jason Voorhees. And then at the very top, guys, we do have our very realistic silicone Part 4 mask and our very realistic Part 7 silicone mask, which are very, very nice. I think the one on the left is made by 135 Studios, and the one on the right is made by Kyle Hukalakasakasa. I don't know his last name, but I, but I know he's Kyle, and he's very talented. And in the middle, rounding it off, we have our Part 9 little doll from uh, Friday the 13th, Part 9. But that pretty much finishes off this bookcase, guys. Now we are going to get into the money where all of our different horror figures and other action figures are displayed, which is probably my favorite part of the room. Just a bunch of epicness going on. And uh, let's go ahead and start off on this right side. So on this right side, guys, you will see our NECA Jason Voorhees collection. It doesn't end on this shelf. There are a bunch more on the next shelf as well. But you have Part 2, Part 3, Part 4, and Part 5. We also have the brand new NECA Roy from Part 5 right there in the middle. Just terrible. Never was a big fan of Part 5, but the figure is pretty cool. Got the double-jointed arms and everything. Accessories all laid out. And, of course, we have our Part 6 over here. Now we're just waiting on Friday the 13th to get their bullcrap together with the license. And maybe we'll get a, a Kane Hodder Jason Voorhees figure from NECA. And I think the world will be a better place. Next shelf, guys, we do have our Mezco Part 3 Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees with all his accessories. That's another thing, guys, if you don't see right here, there's like tons and tons of accessories that NECA gives you with all their figures. Pretty cool stuff. Continuing on the shelf, guys, we do have a couple Freddy vs. Jason Jason Voorhees figures, and then when, of course, we have the 2009 remake Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees, and a couple of those. You have the bag on the head version, and then, of course, you have the mask version. And finishing off this shelf, we do have our NES Jasons. We have the SDCC exclusive, and then we have the re-release along with an actual copy of the NES Friday the 13th video game. So those are pretty cool. Again, we do need a Kane Hodder Jason Voorhees figure, man. That's really ridiculous that we don't have that yet. 
On this next shelf, guys, we just have some vinyl records of the soundtracks of the original films of Friday the 13th, part one, two, three, four, and five. And then we just have some other random pictures and books and things of that nature. And then down here, again, it's the same thing. Uh, more of the albums, a little Jack in the Box, and some autographed pictures by Tom Savini. And then if we come to this shelf, you will see that we have plenty more of horror icons. We have Nightmare on Elm Street, obviously Freddy Krueger. We have Leatherface, very nice figures from NECA. Of course, going in, we have our Mezco Halloween Michael Myers, and then we have a couple of the NECA 2018 Michael Myers as well. Multiple accessories and stands going on. Had to complete the shelf with the Pennywises. We have two 2017 Pennywises, and then, of course, two original Pennywises from Tim, Cur Tim Curry. Plenty of other head sculpts and accessories to go with these as well. And I think there's a lot of accessories inside the boxes that are not in here as well. Need to get those out of there. But this is the top shelf with Pennywise, Michael Myers, Leatherface, and Freddy Krueger. Need more Freddy figures, man. Going down to the next shelf, guys, we do have a little Orbeez Jack Torrance from The Shining, obviously. Then we have a few Godzilla figures. I'm not big on Godzilla, but Brad is, so we just kind of, you know, we have to, you know, we have to put some stuff up there to make him happy. Moving on, we have our part two Halloween Michael Myers right here that just released. Got the gunshot to the eyes head sculpt on there. Up next, we have our two Chucky and Tiffany figures from the two-pack from NECA, and then, of course, our just regular Child's Play original Chucky. Tons and tons of accessories with those figures as well. Going down to the next shelf, guys, we do have a bunch of random anime stuff as well as some statues, some figures, and other things from Evangelion, Dragon Ball Z, Pyramid Head, a.k.a. Silent Hill. I mean, just of great stuff. My favorite portions are the Dragon Ball Z because it's my favorite anime. However, uh, Taylor enjoys uh, Evangelion. We also have Spike from Cowboy Bebop down here in the left corner. But the money is right here, man. The money is right here with this Super Boo and this remake Broly. And then, of course, the original Broly. Both of them just absolutely beautiful. And then peek in Android 21 in the back. Next shelf is more anime stuff. You got some Venom, Haunter, Kirby, Samus, Batman, Bowser. Just some random characters that we enjoy. Mostly him, but I do love Honor. Favorite Pokemon right there. Honor's the shit. And then coming down to our final shelf, guys, we do have uh, just some random stuff. We have Banjo-Kazooie, and then we have a little videotape from Banjo-Kazooie, and then we have a little Batarang. And then over here, we have some random Jason masks that were sent from fan mails of MDT. And that pretty much does it for the shelves, guys, but up next, we're going to show you all of these Harley Quinns up here real quick and do a little overview. All right, guys, going up to the top, we have a ton, and I mean an ass ton of Harley Quinn figures. I mean, these are ranging in all types of scales, different companies. Companies, Play Arts Kai, Mattel, random statues, sideshow collectibles. I mean, you name it, it's here. I promise you that. I don't think there's a single one missing. We have SH Figure Arts Harley Quinn right here in the front. Suicide Squad, animated series, Injustice, all the random video games and things of that nature. It is up here, I promise you. But very nice collection that Brad has accumulated of Harley Quinn. I'm not big on Harley Quinn. You know, I, I like her as a character, but he is the Harley Quinn fanatic over here. So this is all the different Harley Quinn figures as well as some different Jason figures. You have a Freddy vs. Is Jason, Jason Voorhees statue. You have a part four Jason statue, and then you have a Kane Hodder part seven in the back, which is my personal favorite. So all those are really, really nice. Very massive, by the way. These are these are very, very big. I think I could wrestle one in a five-star classic. But that is pretty much it for the top shelf. I mean, you have all these Harley Quinns, just a good shot of all the Harley Quinns, and then, of course, your big-time Jasons. But that pretty much does it for the room. I mean, we do have one more shelf over here that I'll show you before we get out of here, but this is mainly it for it again. I want to compare it to last year's room just to kind of give it, you know, just a comparison, but there's that shelf. You have an overview of this shelf. You have the nice clockwork orange autograph poster over there with the orange frame, which is a very nice touch. You have some comic book boxes. Again, random table over here with the Big Daddy, the fiberglass mask, you got the Halloween mask and stuff, and then over here is the last one, which just has some random things on it, Windex uh, of all things. Windex, Woo! baby! Over here you have some Finn Balor and Kevin Owens stuff, some Young Bucks Pops, Finn Balor NXT 2K statue, and then uh, Brad is a Cowboys fan, so he's got some Cowboys stuff over here, including a football autograph by Jason Witten. And then we finish it off with the Big Daddy up top. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Again, we did the full room tour. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you guys missed last year's, go back and watch that. And compared to this year's, we did add a ton of different things. And hopefully next year we can do the same thing. Maybe add a new shelf. Who knows? It'll depend on how much NECA releases, how many things we bring in, and all of that good jazz. But I think they really look badass up on the shelf. I just 
just love the way it looks, especially when you get to pose it around. You know, my collection and my room is kind of different. You know, they don't get to, we don't get to pose them around as much unless we're pick fetting or posing with them. So it's really cool to get a different take and have some nice space to, you know, pose them around, use the accessories and stuff like that. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Again, I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below what your favorite part of the room is, what's your favorite figure or whatever you saw in this room. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Also, subscribe for more horror action figure videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Uh, almost vomited.